And we're rolling. All right, this is Ian. Into the camera, Ian. Wait for I can see it. Anyway, this is going to be uh, Ian's Hygarian first. With, uh, Hygarian first, or whichever. With Arctic Camouflage. Very interesting yeah. choice. And this is Steven's. What are you calling oh, your chaos? Sorry. They're sect of the word bears. Sect of the word bears. They use Zench and Nurgle. Yeah. And these are my binary Avenger Necrons with some battle damage because, well, there were some issues in transport. And I have a model that's hiding. It's going to deep strike. So, two. Oh, forgot to so the battle report for whatever the hell date this is. It's August 12th, right. And I'll tune back in after turn one is over. Let's hope I don't die. Okay, turn two. Six plus six inches. Ian's forces didn't exactly move, but they shot at me and, well, didn't hit anything. He forgot to use his Lehman Russ, which kind of doesn't have a turn on it right now, but it will. Uh, my turn was second. I shot at his defiler and took out the main battle cannon. Move for me. Sad face. Yes, yeah, sad face for Steve. That is his sad face. No, it will. You may not be having it near the end of the game. We don't know yet. I move my Necrons up. I'm going to detach my flayed ones. I'm expecting to get stuck in next turn. Uh, Steve managed to get a couple of good shots with his Havocs and his Defiler and took down one heavy destroyer with each. He actually managed to hit me with his Laz Cannon, but it fizzled. His Crack Missile did better damage. And again, Yes. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, the end of turn two. I, would say I deep strike my monolith, and I did a fair bit of damage to pretty much every squad, aside from the vehicles. That was just a bit mean. Did a wound there, killed a number of guardsmen, and generally next turn I'm going to be a jerk and do the exact same thing. Except, you know, deep striking, it's already there. I managed to not get one of my heavy destroyers back up, but that didn't phase me much. I tried to shoot down the Valkyrie with all my destroyers, but I couldn't bloody well frickin' even glance the thing. Uh, got in a close combat with some assault marines after my flayed ones and lord took a, an ammo beating. They're down, but they can still get back up. I've lost one of each. Necron word, they can still get back up. The Devi moved. Those guys haven't. That's frightening. That's probably going to really hurt next turn. Good and, call. of course, Ian still has all this stuff. But, of course, I can still get back up on my turn. Which has Steve giving a sad face? No, this is my normal face. It looks like your sad face. Good call. Yes. Ian's smiling. Never protects. Not for long. All right, and around three, or turn three, here's how it's going. My Necrons have taken quite the beating, as you can see. A fair bit of them got up from last round. A lot of them didn't. He tr uh, Steve tried to deep strike his Terminators here. They ended up deep striking, uh, scattering onto my uh, destroyers here. They had a mishap, and they went back in reserve. His Rhino Hover came in the side, and it's full of Chosen. His Defy moved. He's still got his Havocs. And it looks like I'm going to start getting really stuck in the melee, and I'm going to start getting overrun very shortly. With Ian, he's still taking a beating from my monolith. He's sh shifting outwards, so I'm not, you know, probably not going to be able to get any uh, God's Flux Arc rounds off next turn. Or at least maybe half the amount I usually do. And he's starting to move out and shoot the other us. It's going to really start to hurt once my monolith goes down and he starts focusing his fire on everything else. Oh, jeez, I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, that's the end of turn three. Okay. Uh, end of turn four. Me and Steve have come to an agreement. See, he's got his smiley face on. Ian's got his oh dear smiley face. Okay, my Necrons didn't take exactly any beating this turn. Lucky them. I, my last two flayed ones fell down once again. My Lord's down to one and wound. Preferably, he'd like to be able to stay up now. And since he's not going to be assaulted for a little bit, I'm looking pretty lucky there. Steve would have moved up his Rhino, but I unfortunately... Uh, to disabled it from moving for the turn before we came to an agreement. He's moving up his Defy. He's going, we're taking the fight to the Imperial Guard. As for the Imperial Guard, we've wiped out a couple of squads, and there's a couple of good ones left that are still alive. A couple are running. Termi's killed Valkyrie equals... Termi's wiped out the Valkyrie after deep striking in. 
Still got a full heavy squad there. That's going to hurt the Termies next turn. Still got a single Laz Cannon there. So I'm guessing that my Olana is going to get another two Laz shots. Wait, one Laz shot because that one right there is stunned or shaken or whichever one makes it. He can't shoot, but he can move. But he's not going to move because that one's immobilized. Ha <laughs> ha! He's still got his Master of Ordnance though, so I'm not happy about that. He's definitely going to nuke me because I'm more closely knit right now. And my models is still standing strong. I'm happy about that. Not even weapon destroyed or immobilized. Probably just jinxed it. I'll have to let you know next round. See you then. Okay. And to turn five. Uh, Steve and I, our alliance has been working very well. See, he's Wearing smiling. Mm -hmm. His deafies moved up. His havocs finally moved. Seriously. Everything else is moving forward towards the Imperial Guard lines, which are almost non-existent at this point. My Necrons didn't move very much because I had to reconsolidate my lore because my flayed ones, well, they're gone now. I don't have that many stuff left, but my lord is locked in combat with a war scythe on the Imperial Guardsmen. That's really going to hurt them very shortly. He's still got a last cannon left, though. I don't know. He could probably take out my monolith. Unless he just decides to point blank at the monolith with his Lehman Russ, which I'm actually surprised he hasn't done yet. And because I've said it, he's probably going to do it next turn, if it goes on, because it is the end of turn five. Now, as for the Imperial Guard, I don't think they've actually done anything. Wait, no. One of his uh, uh, Imperial Guardsmen almost got a very lucky wound on uh, that Demon Prince with only one left. But unfortunately, the Demon Prince saved, so that was a moot point. But that was actually pretty impressive. He had to roll a six to wound, and he got it. Wow. You see, he's even happy about that. Yay! Alrighty then. I'll let you know after uh, what the final uh, result of this is. Actually, let's roll this right now. Steve? What's the end result of the roll here? We're rolling for uh, see if we're going back, going to continue. Wait, 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 do it right. Doing it right. Noxious dice. Doing it right. Noxious dice, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have to roll again? What is the roll, Steve? Let's see it. What about three? Five? Yep. Uh, Moving on. Next turn. One more turn, ladies and gentlemen. One more turn. One more turn. Alrighty. We'll go back at the end of turn six. Dun dun dun. And then the going. Alrighty. End of turn six. Things have gone significantly different for the guard. They're down to a Lehman Russ and a couple of groups of guardsmen. One locked in combat with my lord with two wounds left. That's looking pretty bad for Ian now. But on the bright side, it has taken our combined forces to seriously hurt him. Otherwise, he probably would have killed us off after we killed each other off. Uh, yeah, he's he doing his little dance. The so, Steve still has happy face. Uh, My gentleman's agreement so gave me second back. place, not yeah. third. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We'd go and argue with that. We haven't rolled to see if, uh, if the game has ended yet. However, we haven't actually suffered any other losses to our men. So, Steve, roll the die. Uh, obnoxious dice. What do we need to roll? Oh, I hate myself. That's turn seven. Turn seven. Turn seven, ladies and gentlemen, is going to the end. Oh, the... That game is the murder mystery. Okay, after much debate and much stomach growling, we decided to just call it as is. Just take a quick run around of what everything is at. My Necrons, have, for the bulk of them, have survived. The Daemon Prince. Pretty much all of Ian's guard are dead. There's the Sentinels, the heavy weapons teams, his massive guardsmen bodies. There's big Valkyries yeah. dead here. And, uh... Let's see how much Chaos died. See, so far the Chosen never got onto the field. So that's yeah, bad yeah, for him. They're inside the rhino oh, the, they never got out of the rhino. Yeah, yeah, it's the first Oblivion gate. I believe all these are dead Chaos. Yeah. And... The only dead I Necrons I have in, are right here. I kept, because uh, the guards kept coming in from me when My I tried to get ones are the gone. Daedra. Yeah, I my lost. bounty went up to like 4,000. I know. I know. I believe five Necron Warriors, right, one Heavy start. Destroyer, one Regular right. Destroyer. And I believe that was it. So that's it. That's, that's a pretty good game. Before I did that uh, yeah. mission, the first time I played, I did Alrighty. Acts of Perdition. Good game, Ian? So it does 25 yes, points, uh, fire damage. Great. Steve? Uh, good game? Oh, wow. Good game.